Many years ago, at a time when horse and buggy, stagecoach and walking were the common ways of transportation, a little rural farm community became the home for a group of primitive Baptists who believed that teaching, preaching, singing, and worship were key elements in the life of the community. Thus, in 1840, they formed an association of believers known as the Independent Bethel Baptist Church of Washington, Herbertsville. Thirteen original signers of the church formed this and met for the first four years in homes near Willow Street, which is now Cosman Street, and Herbert Place, now Rutgers Road. During this time of 1841 to 1844, the second pastor, Samuel Sproul, helped the church to grow and with the aid of the community, built the first meeting house. It was a simple structure, 40 feet by 36 feet, facing Herbert Place, and the land was donated by Obadiah Herbert for $1. Property was valued at $2,500 at the time of 1882. In 1860, the Ladies' Auxiliary was instrumental in accomplishing many additions, such as a church bell, raised monies for repairs to the church, a gas chandelier and street lamp, and they held dinners in the area. 1863 saw more changes as monies were collected for baptismal indoors. Up to now, the people were baptized in the old South River, which would also, during that time, float barges from Sing Sing Prison on the Hudson River in New York to the area with foundation rock hand-hewn by inmates and laid the foundation stones that are still in place today. They were used when the church was turned 90 degrees because the congregants didn't want to come out of the church facing a pigsty across the way. It now faces Cosman Street, which was formerly Willow Street. Also at that time, monies were collected for colored glass or stained glass as we know it. In the early 1900s, the pastor maintained three stations. These stations were called that by circuit riders, and he would go out to three each week to conduct services in a 15-mile circuit. This kept the community informed and fed them with encouragement from God's Word. July 1914 brought in the First World War until 1918. Letters were written home and sent to the church, of which we still have some in possession today. 1929 through 39 brought in the Great Depression, and the Ladies' Auxiliary still were active and provided meals occasionally for the community and fire services. 1938, the state of New Jersey required associations to register their nonprofit status, and the church became known as the Old Bridge Baptist Church of Old Bridge, New Jersey. The Old Bridge used to be a covered bridge in which it was said of General George Washington in the Revolutionary Times to have the boys meet at the Old Bridge. 1939 through 1945, the world entered into World War II. Still, the church was a central meeting place and letters home were often read and left there, and the church lived on. 1940 saw a first small milestone in our celebration history of 100 years. When the boys came home from the war, there was a population explosion and the church grew again and added a back section for Sunday school. There was reported to have over 300 children then, and 1950 marked our 110-year celebration. 1966 brought about new change as well as land was acquired some years before that housed the pastor was turned into a mission home and a new parsonage constructed at 12 Pine Street for $5,400. Also, the Old Bridge Town Hall, located next to our church, now our parking lot, was donated to us for $1. A member of the church tore down the building and cleared the land to install the parking lot. Another celebration marked 126 years in 1966. It's noted that many youth clubs were formed, such as Pioneer Girls, Christian Service Brigades, Born Again Teens, Young Adults, Adult Fellowship, Cherub, Junior, and Senior Choirs were added. A midweek Bible study, prayer time, and the mission's emphasis were all expanded. In 1991, our church grew again and decided to enclose the front stairway leading to the sanctuary. Also needed were new restrooms and a nursery, handicap facilities, and a lift, as well as extra seating. Thus, we entered into a contract to bond and build a $213,000 addition to the front of the church. This also culminated in ushering in our 150th year celebration. In our groundbreaking, we removed the cornerstone to reveal papers, coins, and information from life in 1893. The contents are still in our possession and recorded. We resealed the time capsule and replaced it in its corner for future unveiling with our period information. 2014 and 2015 saw construction again as we redid our basement fellowship hall, a much needed improvement. 
We're not done growing and plan on being here as a lighthouse for the work of the Lord for many generations to come. For 175 years, God has been faithful to Old Bridge Baptist Church, allowing us the privilege of ministering the gospel of Jesus Christ to this community right here in New Jersey, and also to partner with missionaries around the world. We've had 40 pastors lead us, and we've supported over 40 missionaries, 10 having gone out from our church, all with the gospel message of salvation through Christ alone as our message. As we look back with praise and thanksgiving for what God has done in the past, we also want to look to the future in faith to see what God might have us to do in the future. We'd love to have you stop by and meet us. We're a true family church and would love to get to know you. We want to welcome you to come and join us here at Old Bridge Baptist Church this Sunday. Come as you are. We'd love to have you join us.